out yet. I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. If this is your first time to the channel, I want to welcome you. Thanks for stopping by. Of all the videos on YouTube, you chose this one to watch and I appreciate it. Today I've got something awesome. I've got a, a one of my favorite YouTubers I'm going to get a chance to interview. So I was able to get in contact with a friend of mine and I said, hey, I'm passing through. Would it be okay if I stopped and, and just kind of let you tell your story to my subscribers and he was gracious enough to to let me stop in and, and spend a couple of minutes with him so y'all stick around we're going to watch uh, my interview with my favorite youtuber thankful you let me come here and just spend some time with you you know we've been we've been subscribers of your channel for a long long time you know, or I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in my description uh, most of you probably are already subscribers but if you're not go check out cotton top three the dude just does amazing work you're such a class act too man so you know one of the coolest things I, I found out was when I got to meet him and spend some time with him he's just like this in real life as he is on the camera so I appreciate that but why don't you tell us a little bit about you and how you got started what your YouTube channel is about and all that good stuff well uh, I come from a photography background my granddad was a photographer and stuff like that but I really didn't know anything about you know video film and stuff like that and uh, it just kind of started from there I did I used to do uh, weddings portraits stuff like that on the yeah, side that was a side hustle for me for right years on. and years and then when the digital stuff started coming out I saw the writing on the wall back in 96 I saw the first digital stuff down in Orlando Florida the photography okay. convention down there and I knew then and I was shooting medium format I wasn't shooting 35 <laughs> millimeter yeah. I was shooting big stuff okay and uh so I kind of got out of that but I was always always liked the video stuff but I didn't know how to edit okay. and uh so I just dove into YouTube man or started you know filming right. for Facebook and then it's and then it went over to YouTube to where it is now right. and uh so I I'm primarily a logger I cut timber and that's what the brunt of my videos are but there's actually no telling what you may or may not see me do as far as outside logging because I include every, all sure. of my daily stuff I put up a video every day and yeah and just feed the content out there yeah the, well your content's awesome because not only do people learn a lot, of, you know, as far as mechanics go, because you're always fixing things and showing right. us how to, do, you're always showing us how to do things with like bush hog and heavy equipment on your tractor, and then of course it's always just fun to watch this kind of big, big heavy equipment sure. run this big logs and stuff around. Yeah, because this stuff right here, like the 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 tractors and the stuff like you do, that kind of stuff like that, a lot of people can relate to that because right. they got that, they want to know how to do it and things like that, and and so I show that on there. But this stuff right here. It's very different. This sure is, is a closed arena. It's not like, a, say, a Major League Baseball game or your Friday night high school football game. You buy a ticket, you go in, and you sit down, and you can watch it. This stuff right here, you, you unless it's alongside the road, you don't get to see That's this. Right, yeah. And so what I do is I provide a window for people to look through over my shoulder or in front of me or whatever to watch this stuff run and so that's where yeah. that comes from and the machines are really cool yeah so. absolutely and i tell you one thing i like about your channel is the fact that not only do we get to see, get a little glimpse of what's going on in the logging world uh and, and what a wonderful you job you guys are are the ultimate conservationist if you ask me sure uh, and so what you do there but you know, I can watch I can watch a logging video on Monday, and then I can watch you teach me how to fell a tree on Tuesday, and then I can watch you teach me how to change blades on my bush hog on Wednesday. Yes. And it's all relevant to people, especially if you're a subscriber to my channel, uh, your hobby farmer, your small farmer, compact tractor type stuff. You know, that stuff's applicable to us as that type of environment because those fundamentals that you're taking and, and what you're teaching us on your channel, we can apply it to what we're doing. Exactly. Because my job is a lot of people think of loggers as just the destruction people, the people yeah. who are destroying things like that. And that's what I'm trying to do. I am, my my mission with Cotton Top Free is to educate people. If I can educate one person per video, on what we do, why we do it, and the steps that we go through to preserve and protect, and yeah. then 
make it regenerate That's again right. for yeah. the next time, yeah. you know, for a tree today, a tree tomorrow. And uh, and so I have, over my time of YouTube, I have successfully been able to, to sure. do that. And it has helped me out to be able to film out here like I do for the company that we work for and everything. You're okay, okay. with it because of right. the educational aspect. Of course. Yeah, it's really cool because, you know, a lot of people who maybe just, uh, you know, as they go over the flyover states and all this, and they see people, all this destruction, what appears to be destruction, mm -hmm. it's really organized chaos. It is, it is, and it's, and it's, it's turning the environment, it's, it's promoting growth is sure what it is. is. These trees are no different than human beings. They've got a life cycle. And the name of the game is to use them before that life cycle ends or mother nature takes them out. Uh, you live in the hurricane area down there. Mother Nature has no mercy on cutting <laughs> timber, do they? Does she <laughs> That's right, she yeah. just puts it down however That's she right. can get it down. But yeah. whereas, like in some of the western states, California, for instance, that's the reason why you see a lot of the wildfires That's because right. those That's areas right. are not managed, there's not roads right. through them and stuff like that to act like natural fire breaks, you know. So when you when you're out here and you get to do all your film, what's your favorite part of being out here? Favorite part of filming or favorite part of your job? Just what what do you like most about it? I guess my favorite thing is just running the machine. Okay, cool. You know, that's all. That's the satisfaction of that. Eh? That's that's all I've ever wanted to do since I was a little little bitty boy. Yeah. I mean, four or five years old, and what I want to do. And this machine that we're standing under right now, we got the boom on the ground, but so nothing can fall on us. But the this machine right here, I've had it since it's brand new. I have over eighteen thousand hours on this machine that I've put on it, and. Uh, you know, that's that's all I wanted to do is yeah. run equipment, run machinery. And I don't know if you can tell this in the video or not, but he's the smart one because you got under the shade and I'm standing. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, the rookie over here is standing well, you, the when I When you started setting the camera up, you turned around, I have mine sitting there on you. You got kind of the deer in the headlight. And I'm like, well, different now, ain't it, buddy? Yeah. Whatever, got somebody else besides Gina holding the camera that's over right. here on you. He's not over here sweating oh, right man, now, man. I'm telling you, dude. But, uh, uh, but no, dude, I, uh, I I really like how you present your video content. I really like how you interact with your audience. Uh, your live streams are incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I like your benevolency. Can I, is that, that's yeah. a big word for redneck. Yeah, that's right. So uh, your generosity to your, you know, you're always giving yeah. hats away, yeah. t-shirts away, stuff like that. And so when you go over to subscribe to his channel, make sure you click that notification bell because when he goes live, those things are legit, man. You have yeah, a really good time in there. It's uh. I have several people kind of behind the scenes that I talk to after the live feeds over and to get feedback from okay. them, you yeah. know, personally. Of course. And they, they, they say, I have no idea how you do that, <laughs> how, how you keep up with it on yeah. there because when I go live, it's like throwing a hand grenade out and right. blowing sure, up. It sure. goes nuts. Uh -huh. and, uh, it does. I mean, there's a lot of times it'll have, you know, say 400 people on it or yeah. something like that and you've yeah. got a lot of people asking questions and I'm trying to kind of keep up with it and That's things right. like that. That's but right. the, the live feed just kind of gives people one more little thing kind of behind the scenes, yeah. so to speak, you know, and stuff like that. But it does kind of give you a, a, a personal connection almost when you yeah. go live like that, and they can ask a real-time question and get a real-time answer. Uh, uh, but it is, when that, when that chat goes fast, you know, uh, it's, it's pretty demanding to keep up with, for sure. Especially if you got one person on there that may be asking 10 different questions, you know, posting, <laughs> yeah. and then, you know, yeah. you kind of got to filter through that, you yeah. know. But, yeah, of course. So, yeah, it's all good, dude. Well, listen, they've got a couple more days here on this job, and they're going to wrap it up. But I, I tell you, man, it was so so cool for you to let me come up here and just hang out with you for a little oh, bit. Yeah. Um, thanks a lot. And like I said, I'll leave a, his channel link in the description below. Oh, yeah. Make sure you go over there and check his channel out and hit that subscribe button. Uh, he's, got a, he's got a big channel. It's awesome. And the reason he's growing so fast is because he's a good dude and he puts out good content. And so with that being said, listen, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that little notification bell and just watch some of the, what we do here at Hamiltonville Farm. And uh, again, I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next, next video. You guys take care. Later, taters. Later, taters. All right.